Okay, it is Thursday, March 28th, 2024, in the year of our Lord. And I have three quick tips on how to repair minor stuff on these 2022 Kenworths. And it could apply to Peterbilts and Frightliners. Once again, I don't know about Volvos, but first one real quick is how to reset your touchscreen entertainment unit slash uh, infotainment. Uh, it's got gauges on there too. So basically, if, they all, if it gets stuck where it doesn't operate anymore or it just stops working, simply push down on the power button and the home button at the same time for five seconds and it'll reset so let's do that real quick to show you so there we go just hold it down for five six seven seconds and you'll see that it'll uh, just start over there you go see and it'll just reset itself and clear any jams or bugs that it has so there you go see so it starts back up and so that's number one and number two is if you get that water and your fuel filter warning on your dashboard like I showed you in this first clip this video uh, so you kind of come over here to your engine, right, your left side of your engine, and this is your fuel filter, this big old long thing, plastic container here, that's your fuel filter, so underneath it, as you can see, there is two sensors, then on the other side there's a knob simply turn the knob counterclockwise or excuse me yeah counterclockwise uh, let's see this one there you can see the you can see that fuel coming uh, just let it run for about five seconds to get the water out retighten it excuse me tightening is counterclockwise opening it up is clockwise so just let it run for five seconds cloud any water okay that's your fuel filter there left side of engine Alright, so coming around, third thing, real easy to, to maintain, is your engine air cab filter, which is right here. It's on your right side of your engine, right against the, the firewall, I guess. So, here you're just going to simply slide the door. To your left it comes right off you see that set it down and there you see your cabin air filter so simply slide that out see that this holes might get in the way but no biggie just see now what to clean it just simply look at all that dust so these need to be cleaned almost like every month if you're in a real dusty environment like Arizona look at this super dirty it needs to be actually replaced this one actually needs to be replaced so I mean probably like 10 15 bucks at the dealerships you can also wet them down this one is way, way too dirty. It needs to be replaced. 
just beating it to a pulp to get any all the dust out of there all right so make sure to put it back with the airflow thing going up simply slide it back in just like that there see that put your door back on just like so slide to the right and it stays in place and there you go three simple tips to keep your truck running in good decent shape okay see you on the next one